I'm Jenny Carlson here with Darnell Mayberry. We're at the American Airlines Center. We're on Saturday night. The Thunder goes for a sweep of the defending champion Dallas Mavericks. Darnell, we didn't see this one coming, did we? A sweep of the Mavericks? Well, I certainly didn't. Uh, I picked the Thunder to win in seven. Uh, I didn't see them winning in four. Uh, they've done a really good job of coming into Dallas and, and responding every time they needed to, with, whether it's the crowd, whether it's the Mavs making a run, whether it's Dirk Nowitzki getting calls, Jason Terry, uh, and sort of all kinds of distractions with the officials. Very good showing by the Thunder right now. I think that they're really stepping up their games and proving that they are the team that we thought they were early in the season. Okay, so how did the Thunder get to this point? How do you go from you know, maybe being a team that most people thought would win in five, six, seven games, potentially sweeping these guys and doing it in such dominating fashion. Well, first of all, I think you have to go back to the last year's playoffs when they won uh, two series uh, and really had a tough, hard-fought series with the Grizzlies, winning in seven. They've learned how to win, close out games. They had to play a strategic series against the Mavs, so they've been here before. Uh, and I think they just used those experience to come into this series and really put it all together. And now I think things are working for them. And oh yeah, Kevin Durant made 11 or 15 shots in game three. I think that helped. Yeah, definitely doesn't hurt the Thunder's chances. Hey, let's hear what some of the Thunder had to say before their practice on Friday. We caught up with them. Here they are. You have to enjoy it with the hard work. You can't be a lazy team, a lazy player, and think that you're going to enjoy the NBA lifestyle. You have to earn it. You have to, you have to be rewarded for your work. But you also have to uh, move on to the next game as quickly as possible. You can't rest on it or you can't get too down after a loss. And our guys do that. We talk about that. We believe in that philosophy. Get Get better from game to game, and don't don't get too high, don't get too down from game to game. I don't think we dominated them at all. I think that um, we won a few games here and there, last second shots. Um, but you know, after playing this team so many times last year and um, the start of this year, we kind of you know we kind of knew you know what we were going to get into, get ourselves into coming into this series. So um, we was able to learn from the mistakes we made last year, and uh, hopefully we got better from them. I mean, you. It's, it's very important. I mean, anytime you have a chance to close the team out, you need to do it. But one thing I know about closing the closing games is that that's the hardest games to win. You know, and then you're on the road against the defending champs. You got to expect them to come out and give give they all. You know, I know that team got too much pride. The organization got too much pride. You know, not to go down fighting. So, you know, closing game is always the hardest one. Well, we know these guys you know, fight hard to the end. And, uh, we experienced that last season with them. So we just got to know that you know every possession is important for us to try to close this thing out. And uh, we got to be ready and locked in. So game four tips off at 6.30 on Saturday night. Darnell, it seemed as though the Mavericks were frustrated in game three. Do you see them still being frustrated in game four? Do they come out with some poise and maybe get a win here in game four? Anything can happen with this team right now. First, they were complaining about officials, and then, uh, you know, sort of the wheels came falling off in, in game three when they got down uh, by 15 in the first quarter. So I think if the Thunder can get off to a hot start, they can really put, all, put the Mavs out of their misery early and just sort of run away with this and get their first sweep in franchise history. So uh, if they get off to a fast start, I think that's going to be a key. All right. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.